When when people look at your YouTube channel now, they see over 3 million subscribers, they see the millions of views, but what most people don't know is that it took you 5 years to even hit 7,000 subscribers. So, my first question for you is, how do we believe in ourselves when just absolutely nothing is working? When we're seeing no results for what we're doing, how do we still believe in ourselves in those moments? Wow, what a what an opening question! Um, first off, thanks for having me, Brian. Great to be of course. here. Of uh, course, super excited to dive in. Um, I never saw it as getting no results. Uh, if fifty people watch the video, I'd be like, fifty people watch this video. You know, I think we have. Um, we might look to other people and say, "Well, look at what insert you know, look at what Joe Rogan is doing," and then you feel like a total failure you know, with your podcast, because Joe Rogan is off there crushing it. But if you flipped it and said, who am I serving? Who am I helping? That's just what I defaulted to. And if you think about it, you know, if you went to go give a speech at a library or an event or something, and there were 50 people in the room, you'd be excited. It's like 50 people are here to hear me say something. This is pretty wild. But if 50 people see your video, it's like a total failure. You suck. I'm, I'm terrible at interviews or videos. I should quit. And so I always just focused on who I was serving instead of who I wasn't because the who I wasn't serving game is never ending. There's always somebody better than you. There's always somebody further ahead. And and you can use that as aspirational. The fact that Joe Rogan exists and he can have a billion dollar podcast, that's great. Like that can serve as inspiration, but you shouldn't use it as a kick down to say, well, I suck and I'm never going to make it. Look at the people who I am serving. So that's what I always just, and even now still default too, is that Whoever's watching this, like this, this interview right here, I don't know how many people are going to see it, but for somebody, I'm going in thinking that this interview for somebody is going to be a life-changing moment for them. That's my intention. Whether we create it or not, I don't know, <laughs> but that's the intention going in. And if you showed up with that intention, you will start to have the impact that you're looking for.